Hey guys, what's going on? Jeff here from Films at Home, and today I've got a highly requested video for you. We're going to do the top 10 4K Blu rays of 2020 so far. Hey everyone, so thanks for coming back to the channel. I put out a post on YouTube a little bit uh, a couple weeks ago and I asked, you know, what are some topics people would like to see in an updated top 10 list would be nice. So that's what I'm going to do today. This is going to be focused on releases from 2020 and this will be the top 10 of 2020 so far as of the middle of July 2020. I'll also be doing a video like this at the end of the year, but I wanted to do a mid-year recap first because this year has been really strange, but second because there's going to be a lot of competition for the end of the year top 10 list considering how good this list is already in July. So I will rank these. I'll be going down from 10 to number one, number one being the best. I'll talk a little bit about each one, but all of these I've pretty much, I believe I've covered every single release that I'm about to talk about on my channel at one point or another. So there are full reviews if you want to see those. Check out the 4K review playlist on my channel. So I'll be brief about each one, but I'll rank them 10 to one, one being the best, and give you a real uh, order rather than what I usually do, which is kind of pick 10. I'm actually gonna rank these now. So jumping right into it, I wanted to give an honorable mention to one title, which I didn't put in the top 10 because it's a little bit obscure, it's a little bit pricey, it's just out of most people's really like what their usual purchases. Um, but I did want to give a shout out to Blue Underground in their 4K release of Zombie. This is one of the nicest transfers out there. Movie's not for everybody, it's kind of cult, cheesy 70s zombie movie, but it is Dolby Vision, it's Dolby Atmos, it is one of the best 4k transfers that i've seen especially for the horror genre so props to blue underground and i should also give them props for their maniac 4k release these are both excellent so i wanted to throw them in as honorable mentions before we jump to number 10. now for number 10 on the list i'm going with blues brothers now this is the 4k blu-ray uh, steelbook from best buy it's the best buy exclusive love the artwork on this Blues Brothers transfer is really good. I did a full review on it, but the visuals are great. It's a little bit less um, detailed. The grain is a little bit heavier and it's not as well refined as some of the other releases on this list, but it has a really nice soundtrack. Of course, the movie's mostly about music and the audio on this release was very good. Visuals were nice. It's a good effort by Universal, um, but it's definitely not one of their best of the year, as you'll see as I go through this pile. But another solid effort, a really nice release, and if you like Blues Brothers, this is a good one to pick up for your collection. Overall, a very good 4K disc. Now for number nine, I'm going with a movie that is, it doesn't really fit with the rest of this list because everything else that's on this list is actually a true 4K transfer. And this one's a 2K upscale, but it made the list for one reason. And that is Midway from Lionsgate. Uh, this again is a Best Buy exclusive 4K steelbook, has a nice little slip to it. Um, but the reason this made the list, the visuals are great, but they're great on the Blu-ray too because it's a 2K digitally shot upscale. The reason this made the list at number nine is because the audio is as good as any of the releases on here. The Atmos track on this just is incredible. It's crazy. It has all the height effects that you'd want, all that object based surround. Stuff is flying around your room. And if you have an Atmos setup, this is the demo disc in my opinion right now is Midway. One of the best out there. Godzilla, King of the Monsters is another really good one. Um, but man, Midway blew me away when I put this in. And so purely for the audio alone, typically I wouldn't put a 2K upscale in the top 10 of the year. But because this audio track is so strong, I had to put it on the top 10 list. An excellent audio demo release. Now at number eight, I'm actually gonna go with Top Gun from Paramount. I chose this one over the other two Tom Cruise movies, Days of Thunder and War of the Worlds, because I thought this was the best transfer. The HDR especially is what sold me on this. The 4K restoration was nice. You definitely get some more detail over the Blu-ray, but the HDR color grading was where I was really sold on Top Gun. I thought the colors popped so much better than they did on the previous Blu-ray. And this also has awesome audio. So anytime you can combine great video with awesome audio, you're gonna make a top 10 list. This has another Atmos track where those height effects are in full, full force because of obviously the subject matter and planes and everything else. 
and uh, you know it's a classic movie it's a very well done 4k transfer from Paramount again I thought it could have been a little cleaner the HDR is the selling point on this one the grain structure and the detail is not lacking it made the top 10 list but not as good as some of the others but a really nice release if you like Top Gun again this is a great one to pick up it's the best it's ever looked now at number seven we're gonna have our first from the Columbia classics and it's gonna be a league of their own now I could have probably put a bunch of Columbia classics titles in here but I actually only chose two and I chose a league of their own over Gandhi Dr. Strange love Mr. Smith goes to Washington uh, I chose it over a lot of the other choices I could have put in this spot. Some of the other titles that I was thinking about for this slot, their Blu-rays were so good that A League of Their Own just took a leap over them. And the Atmos tracks great. Again, HDR color grading on this really popped. That's what I like the most, how bright and vibrant it is. And that uptick in resolution, I didn't love the previous Blu-ray. I thought it was okay, I thought it was decent. But this 4K transfer that uh, Sony did for the Columbia Classics set really does put this title in a league of their own and it's a great release so uh, i do recommend the entire set that's the only way to get this title right now is to buy the columbia classic set unfortunately so you can't get these individually but if you do buy the set this is one to look out for i thought this was like the hidden gem of that columbia classic set now coming in at number six i'm going to go with spartacus this is the best buy 4k steelbook and i actually just reviewed this a few days ago it literally just came out actually hasn't been released doesn't release till later in july as of me making this video but the transfer on this was awesome now the transfer again was done back in 2015 so it's a few years old but i really enjoyed how this looked this is the type of epic movie that when you have a 4k projector or a really big 4k oled tv and you get want to get that full immersion and 4k experience this is the type of thing that i really liked now the reason it comes in at number six is because there are simply some titles in this list as you'll see that just blew it away in my opinion or have larger upgrades over previous blu-ray editions but spartacus is a very nice entry universal did a great job on the transfer Again, you can go read my full review if you want more on it, but I do highly recommend this, and it comes in at number six on this list. Now at number five, we're actually gonna go with my only Disney title on this list, and surprisingly enough, it's not a transfer that Disney oversaw. This is Star Wars, A New Hope, episode four. When I posted this last time, everyone said, it's not called A New Hope, it's just called Star Wars. It's Star Wars, not A New Hope, or episode four. Listen, right now, it's episode four, it's Star Wars, A New Hope. Regardless of what it used to be called, this is what it's called now. So that's what I call it. It's A New Hope, Star Wars Episode Four. This release makes it in the number five spot because of all the Star Wars releases that I reviewed, I thought this was the best. Now, there was a lot of debate when I posted this, but the truth is that Fox, the Fox restoration team worked on this because they had the rights to A New Hope. So Fox and Lucasfilm worked together, where on the rest of them, Disney and Lucasfilm worked together. And I think there's something to be said about that. The Fox team, I believe, did better restorations and still does as a part of Disney than the Disney team does. A lot more care was taken on this piece. HDR was better. It was a more faithful representation, I thought, than the other movies in the series. And of the original Star Wars movies, which are the only ones that I'd really upgrade to 4K, I didn't go for the prequels, and I do have the Disney sequel trilogy. Um, but this is the one that I was going to say, if you're going to buy any Star Wars 4K disc, this is the one to go for. I really liked it. I loved the way it looked. It was a, a drastic upgrade, I thought, over my Blu-ray. And Fox and the Lucasfilm team did a better job on this than Disney and Lucasfilm did together. So props to them. This was my favorite of the Star Wars set. And it's the only real love I can give to Disney right now because... I don't have much else to compare this year. They haven't been putting much out for 4K releases. Now coming in at number four, and many people may say, well, this is a 2019 movie. And that's true, but the 4K released in January of 2020. And this is Gemini Man. Now, if you're looking for your purely digital, clean image, this is about as good as you're gonna get. The 60 frames per second, now it depends on what you have for a display, whether it can actually work with that, but that high frame rate looks awesome. 
Um, it's not the best movie in the world. It has its flaws, but Ang Lee certainly knows how to play with technology, and especially all the new digital technology. He's probably, um, I don't know, I'd say he's probably one of the leaders in that area with what he's done with this. Billy Lynn's Halftime Walk, uh, Life of Pi. If you like digitally shot, super clean, crisp images, Gemini Man's the one for you. HDR is great. It's super bright. It's super vibrant. Also has a great audio track, but the real selling point here is that high frame rate and amazing, stunningly clear 4K picture. And that's why it ends up at number four on my list of top 10 of the year. Now at number three, this may come as a surprise to some people if you've been watching the channel for a while. You probably thought this was gonna be my number one, but it comes in at number three, and that is Jaws. A what? I know, Jaws is my favorite movie, but this, this goes to show you that I, I put some real thought into this list because I could have just put Jaws number one and said, well, it's my favorite and it's a good transfer, but I thought there were a couple transfers that were better. Jaws is incredible best it's ever looked, awesome HDR. The restoration that was done on this was actually done back in 2010. So the restoration's a few years old, but this is the first time we're seeing it on 4K disc in its full glory and 4K resolution. And it is really nice. I mean, if I watched this on a projector and I've seen a 35 millimeter print of Jaws and I think this was a better experience watching it at home than watching a 35 millimeter print. It was an awesome experience. And the box set is really cool. This little digipack with a little booklet. Um, it basically kind of takes the stuff that was from the digibook release, which previously came out, and just puts it in a different format. That's how you get the booklet and stuff. But I love the lenticular cover. And there's also a very cool Best Buy exclusive 4K steelbook, which I also picked up. But Jaws is great. Jaws is an awesome 4K release. This is one of those must-haves for anybody's collection but it doesn't top my list. It comes in at number three because these next two were such powerhouses. Coming in at number two, and this was another title which was released in 2019, but came to 4K in early 2020. So we're talking about 4K releases that hit shelves in 2020, and it's Joker. Joker, I think, is the finest example. Gemini Man is close, but Joker is the finest example of a modern film on 4K. It is so sharp and so clean and detailed. It's a true 4K scan. The audio is great, but the visuals on this, there's a reason why I use this disc when I go to do a lot of um, just like initial comparisons. If I do a TV or a projector review, like I reviewed the Vava Ultra Short Throw, I used Joker as a reference point because it is just a beautifully shot movie and the 4K disc is so crisp and so clean. Warner Brothers and their team knocked it out of the park with this one. I loved seeing this in theaters in a 4K presentation and I believe I saw it in like one of those Dolby Cinema theaters. This is going way back almost you know, eight, 10 months ago. But watching this at home again in 4K gives you that experience. I think it's just as good an experience as you get in a Dolby Vision type of theater like some of the AMCs or Regal Cinemas have these high-end theater, uh, movie theaters within their locations. That's, a, that's how good this is. And so it comes in at number two because it just, it blew me away at release. It's still, I said at the time, this might be my favorite 4K. And if it wasn't for this last one, this still would be my favorite 4K disc that's been released, period. It's a great example of what the format can do for even modern films, which don't need a huge restoration. This is a great example of that. And so number one, I bet a lot of you are trying to think, what's gonna be number one right now? And this choice for me was pretty easy because this release to me is what 4k is all about it's an older movie it's an epic it's a classic and we took this i shouldn't say we because i didn't do a damn thing but sony took this release and they blew me away when you compare this to even some of the others on this top 10 list it puts some of them to shame and that is lawrence of arabia this is right now the crown jewel of 4K. This is the best 4K has to offer. Now, unfortunately, it's only available in that Columbia Classics box set. So if you want it, you have to buy the box set or you gotta find somebody who's like willing to sell you just this. 
good luck. You may be able to find one on eBay who's breaking up their set and only keeping a few. But this is the reason to buy the Columbia set. And I really hope that they make this a standalone release because it appears uh, that the Columbia Classic set is selling out in some places. Maybe they're restocking, but there's only 8,000 units. This is the type of movie, I think if you put it out there in 4K, when the PlayStation 5 and the new Xbox come out and they can all play 4K discs, this is the one. This is the crown jewel that people are going to drive to go get. It's an awesome, amazing, incredible 4K transfer. The HDR color grading on this blows anything else out of the water when it comes to these older movies. Even Jaws sort of has to hang its head to this one a little bit because Sony killed it. It is crystal clear. It looks like a pristine film print. It sounds amazing with the Dolby Atmos track. Everything about it just screams quality. And it is the best release of the 4K format, period. This is the best that 4K has had since its inception back in 2016. This is as good as it gets. And it's definitely the best of the year so far. I would be hard pressed to find another movie in 2020 that's going to beat Lawrence of Arabia. I'd be shocked if one did. I have a feeling at the end of the year, we'll still be talking about this disc as number one. It's really that good. So thanks for watching guys. That is the top 10 list of 2020 so far for the 4K format. Now it is only July. So if you're watching this video in the future, I am going to update at the end of 2020 with more titles. We obviously have some things coming out like um, we have Home Alone and Hocus Pocus coming from Disney. We have uh, the Psycho and Hitchcock collection where there could be some gems there. Pay attention for Psycho to be a sleeper to maybe knock off Lawrence of Arabia because the black and white picture, that could convince me. And there's a lot of cool stuff that could still be announced and released, like Back to the Future, we're hoping to see that soon. Maybe Indiana Jones gets announced. We're hoping to see Lord of the Rings and the Hobbit movies. There's a lot that could happen before the end of the year. So I'll redo this list at the end of 2020, but this is a nice little update for you for this year so far. If you're shopping around on Amazon or eBay or in your local store, these are the ones to look out for. I highly recommend these. They're great demo discs to show off your system. Most of them are great movies as well. And if you have the audio set up to take advantage of Atmos or 7.1, you know, really high bit rate, great audio tracks, this is a good setup for you. This is a good place to start. So I appreciate you all watching. Make sure you subscribe, comment, and like this video. Let's try to get this video to 2,000 likes. I think that's a fair goal. And that means a lot of people will see this 4K uh, review and 4K update and hopefully go out and invest in some 4K movies and grow the hobby. So like the video and make sure you follow me on Instagram. I'll leave links to all of these to purchase on Amazon. Of course, the Columbia set will only be available as the set, so I can't put individual releases, but I'll leave Amazon links for each of these down below if you purchase through Amazon and help support my channel, which I greatly appreciate. And if you check out other links down in my description, there's other ways to help support my channel as well. So I appreciate all of that. Thank you again for watching. Hope you have a great rest of your day and I'll talk to you guys soon.